Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today we're going to be taste testing and reviewing Funko Candy. So let's get started. So we found this little section over here, guys, with has like different candies and snacks and stuff like that. So we've got these Funko ones over here. I'm gonna have to get some of these for the office. It's Funko on it. Oh, it does. That's neat. Look at yeah, that. That's pretty cool. It's attention to detail. Yeah. Um, we also have some of these lollipops. <laughs> that's pretty funny, actually. <laughs> and then the uh, chocolate bars over here. So we've got the. I believe these ones are salted caramel. We've got dark chocolate, mm -hmm. uh, chocolate milk, and then that one's white chocolate down there as well. All right, guys. So while we were over at the Funko Hollywood store, while we were on, uh, you know, a trip in California. Um, we ran into some Funko candy. So they actually have chocolate bars and they also have these right here. Now these are raspberry lemonade candies. They also had mint ones, but there was really only one one I could bring home. So I grabbed this one because I thought this one was more interesting because you know, everybody kind of knows what mint tastes like, but these raspberry lemonade ones kind of caught my eye. So we're going to be checking these out today, seeing what they taste like and what's up with them. Uh, first thing I want to mention right away is that the Funko Hollywood packaging is actually really nice. Um, on the back there, you can also see it's got the nutrition facts. If you guys want to check that out, um, if you guys are interested in those, because I've never really reviewed food before. So if you guys want to check that out, you guys can. Um, also, here's the nutrition facts for the back is this one as well. Um, so these are actually created by a different company, not Funko. This is created by the company Sticky. So it looks like they outsource their stuff to um, Sticky and then they create it and, you know, just turn it into the Funko packaging. This one here actually just says... Um, Funko on it. So this one might be done by Funko the Chocolate, but I know for a fact the lollipops that were there and these were all done by Sticky, um, which is another company, which is pretty cool. It says uh, traditional handmade yummy. Okay, so I'm pretty excited about these. So we're going to try these second, but let's try the candy first. By by the way, I really like the packaging on these. So let's pop this open and see what it's like. Oh, it's got gold. It's like a golden Wonka bar almost in a way. This is neat. Okay, so I'm excited to see if there's any like Funko lettering on here or something like that, or if it says Funko on the chocolate bar so let's figure that out okay here we go no all right so it looks like they're just normal bars uh so let's see here so this is what it looks like on the top if you guys are wondering it looks like this so i got the i got the milk chocolate if anybody's wondering so there's the top of it there that's what the bar looks like if anybody's wondering there's no funko um writing on there that's completely fine no i mean it's chocolate you're gonna eat it they don't need to you know spend a little extra on that okay so let's check this out here i'm just gonna try a little bit not gonna have too much and i'll tell you what, what i think the taste is like so let's just break off one of these pieces here and we'll see what i think okay you know what it's pretty good actually this is so i just read here again because i thought i tasted like sea salt and toffee and if you look closely here, it actually says milk chocolate, then in brackets with toffee and sea salt. So that's what those little bumps and stuff are you're seeing on the top. I actually think this is pretty decent. I mean, for a toy company, this is pretty good chocolate. I will say that. Um, chocolate is pretty decent. Um, I would say the texture's not bad. It's a big bar, too. Um, price point on this is $8. Um which I think is a little high. Personally, if it was four, I would have bought more of these because they had other flavors as well I wanted to check out. But for $8 each, I don't know if I could have done it. But for $4, I would have bought maybe three or four of these. But um, anyways, for $8, I bought the one. I think it's pretty good. It's decent chocolate. It is a lot of chocolate as well. So that's a plus because sometimes you get those big chocolate bars and inside like little pieces. Um, so this is a lot of chocolate. But yeah, so far, pretty good. But let's move on to these guys and see what they taste like. All right, so next up we have these ones here. So these are the ones created by Sticky. So this isn't made by um, Funko. And it says, um, it's made, so this is an Australian company, um, which is pretty cool, because it says homemade and handmade in the USA and Australian vision embracing the world. So it must be Sticky is, I think it is, that makes sense. But it is stay Sticky USA, so I wonder if that's not, I don't know, but it says it Australian on the back, so I don't know. This does come in a really nice glass container, which is nice. So, you know, you're getting that little bit of an extra value on this. These right here are $10 overall. So only $2 more than the chocolate bar. I would totally buy this. Um, if I were to pick one thing, buy this over the chocolate bar because you, know, you get more inside. But I want to check this out here. Also, I noticed that the actual candies say Funko on them. If you guys look, let me find you a nice piece there. This one here. So if you guys look there, it actually says Funko on the candy and I think that's a really nice touch. So let's try one of these, see what it tastes like. See if it tastes like raspberry lemonade. Okay, here we go. Wow, this has some really great flavor to it. I don't know what the middle of it is, but I know the outside just feels like hard candy coated sugar. Um, I mean, the number one ingredient is, is of course, is sugar. Um, 
I have no clue what the the middle of it is, but that tastes really good. Whatever the white part is in the middle, um, tastes really good. I don't know what that is. That's kind of like the lemonade kind of tasting part. And then the outside is the raspberry. Anyways, pretty decent. I'm going to say this is a win. These might be empty in a little while, which is kind of sad. I was hoping I could, you know, keep them around for a bit and have like a nice jar of them. But it looks like these are going to be emptying out. I'm going to somehow close this again. But anyways, there we go, guys. That is the... Candy and chocolate bars. Personally, I would say if you're going to pick one, pick these guys here. And also, if you guys have been to the Funko Hollywood store, let me know how the mint ones are because I want to see what those ones are like as well. Um, but anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this kind of different review, but I wanted to try them out anyways. So this has been another episode of Top Pops Reviews. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Aha! I figured out what they taste like. Lemon heads. They taste like lemon heads. The middle, it's like a lemon head.